it is time to make that change. That's got to go. So, catch you in a second. What is going on, everybody? Welcome to, uh, into my GT Entertainment, and I am Joel. If you could tell, I'm about to do some uh, surgery on the V6 again. Uh, Project Six Stang is getting a facelift, literally. So we are going to go ahead and install a new grill on her today. Let me show you what it looks like. There is the new grill that we are installing today. I hope you all stick around and enjoy it. See you in a little while. Just kidding. We're going to go ahead and really do the install here in a little bit. I do need to build that, but uh, not on this channel. So we will catch you in a little bit when I get them out, and I'll show you what we're dealing with. See you in a little bit. All right, everyone. Let me show you the tools that you're going to need to have get the front bumper off. Um, let me get to the front of the car and show you what you're going to first start off with. And then I'll show you what you need. Hold on real quick. Alright, to start the game off, that's all you're going to need. The screwdriver, the push pin tool, a 7mm wrench, a socket, and a socket driver. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and start taking these off and then show you some of the, I guess, dismantling. Okay, the first thing you need to do is get this off. Um, what you're going to have to do is get a, either a push pin tool to get all the push pins out. There's like seven on the top. Uh, or a little flathead screwdriver and just work them up. And then once you get the cover off, there's some more push pins under there. Plus, I believe some 10 millimeter screws right up here. We'll get to that point once I get that done and show you what's going on there. And then also, while you're at it, over here you have seven millimeter screws that hold the inner fender to it. So you need to go ahead and uh, get that loosened up. So you do one side at a time, turn your wheel, loosen that, turn your wheel the other way, loosen the other side. So I'll show you the tools here in a sec. As you can see, now that the cover is off, you have a couple of the screw push pins, and I want to say those are seven millimeter. It might be ten millimeter. I'll tell you in one second. So you will need to get these out of here. So let me go ahead and get those off. All right. Now that I got those out, those were eight millimeter screws. So. Uh, so now you need a seven and an eight millimeter and now I'm going to venture to the side panels over here Those right there in the corner Once I get those off I got to lift up the car and there's a bunch of screws on the bottom holding uh, The bottom fascia on I'll show you that in a moment and uh, we're getting there. So we'll see you in a minute All right guys, this is at the point where you need to raise up the car a little bit um, I put it on my ramps. You can put it on jack stands if you got a lift, even better. Um, next big part, it's going to take you a minute. So that's where this comes into play because if not, it might take you a minute. Under here, you have a whole assortment of screws that need to come out. So you can take this belly pan out. 
so that way it gets unattached with the car and everything and then it, the whole front end just slides off so I'm not going to show you me taking every little screw out <laughs> um, because that just sucks either way and um, I'll show you once I get it out okay see you in a minute all right everyone here we are under the car as you can see the pan is now out I have it sitting over there so what you need to do next before you yank this out you need to disconnect your side markers your air temperature sensor which hangs right up here if you see right there the two holes and then if yours is equipped with the fog lights unplug the fog lights same thing on the other side so now in theory this should just pop out and lean on the floor so let me see what happens see you in a minute all right everyone here you go the bumper is now out as you can see and if uh you might struggle a little bit because with this one you see the reinforcement bumper in there it's kind of in there pretty good so uh kind of need to take that out and put that back on the bumper again but after that we're good So yeah, now I'm going to start installing the front grills. Um, they're in the box. I'm not going to show you to the end. But with these, let me leave this on its face. Ugh. You see all those little tabs up there? You got to push those tabs in to release the, uh, the grill itself. And there's the one for the bottom. So yeah, it's going to be a minute. So uh, hang in there and I'll see you in a bit. All right, guys, they're the old ones. Get them out. Here we are at the front. I'm about to go throw the new ones on, so I'll show you in a minute. So excited. All right, guys, one more thing I'm going to do is change the side markers while they're out because you have to take some of this apart to get to it anyway. I got the, um, well, they're the eBay ones, but they look like the Diodynamic LEDs. Uh, same ones I have on my car, Pam's car, so we're good with that. So I'm going to throw those on real quick and then I'll throw the bumper on and show you what I got all right everyone I just want y'all to see the side markers that I put on here so we got the uh, I do I got these from eBay they were like 50 bucks they are LED so you got yellow ones for the front red ones for the back and they're the striped LEDs So yeah, since I had the bumper off on the front, because you have to take that panel out to get those to the lights, it was easier once I was changing the bumper. So let me go ahead and pull this out and show you all what I did. Hold on real quick. All right, everybody, that was the install of the front end grill that you saw. I hope you all enjoyed it. Let me show you the final look of it. There is the new grill that we made today. Haha, <laughs> now I'll show you the real grill on the car. Hold on. All right, everyone, let me go ahead and show you what we did. Now, don't want you to be too shocked or amazed, okay? Here it is. I did the California Special Bumper. I think it looks so much better and cleaner than what was on there before. I know I have one on that car and the other ones that are originally California specials but this one I, I liked it because I don't even have to change the badging really because the badging kind of goes with the car itself so I decided to go with that I was looking at maybe taking off the horse because the you can take it off it's just two screws I can actually move the horse to the other side over here if I wanted to um, but I decided to leave it where it is. I think it looks fine. And um, yeah, that's what I decided to do. So like I said, it kind of resembles the one next to it, huh? Let's come over here. All right. Hold okay, on. everybody. That's the video for today. I hope y'all enjoyed it. If there's any questions you have, I know I kind of 
left out some stuff with the screws, but I don't think you want me to take out 18 screws and show you how to do it. There's other videos about that. I just wanted to get to the whole um, point of the install and getting it in there. And then I added the uh, marker lights in there with it because, you know, like I said, you need to take off the side panels to get to the front marker lights. So it made it easier to do that. eBay, 49 bucks. Can't go wrong with them, even if they trash after a year. But I've had mine on for a couple of years and I haven't had no problems with them. So anyway, I hope y'all are enjoying your week. Um, well, it's getting close to the weekend now. So halfway there, halfway there. So I hope y'all are staying healthy. I hope y'all aren't experiencing any issues with what's been going on. I need to shave. Wow. But anyway, y'all have a good one and we'll catch you on the next video. Peace.